pandas drop. We use pandas drop in order to either drop columns, a single column or multiple columns from a data set, or a single row or multiple rows from a data set. It's pretty straightforward, but let's get into the details here. So first thing that we'll do is we'll import pandas as PD, like always, and then I'm gonna create a sample data frame. And so with this data frame, I'm actually passing um, a list of data and specifying the columns. This is about restaurants in San Francisco. And what I'm gonna do first is I wanna first create a copy of this data frame so I can reference it multiple times later. I'll use that with DF copy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually drop a column. Now, the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna use pandas.drop, which is I'm using on top of this data frame here. I'm gonna specify the column name that I want to drop, and then I'm gonna say axis equals one. And when axis equals one, this means that you're telling pandas, hey, I wanna drop a column. And the column that I wanna drop is gonna be type. So let's see this and let's run it. And as you can see here, we had type in our full data frame, and now we don't have type anymore. Uh, the other thing that we could do is instead of saying a, um, a column name and having access equals one, we can just go ahead and tell drop, hey, I'm gonna drop some columns, and the column that I want you to drop is type. So you don't need to specify your access. And you get the same exact thing right there. And then to show that we can actually do multiple columns, all that we need to do is we just need to drop a list of column names and then specify access equals one. If I run this, you can see here that in our original data frame, we had name, type, and average bill. And now down, down here, we just have name, okay? The next thing that I wanna check out is how do we actually drop rows? So again, I'll go ahead and I'll make a copy of our data set, or yep, our data set, and I'll put it into DF drop rows. I'll run that. And then what I'll do is I need to specify which of the uh, index labels that I want to actually drop. So in this case, because my index is just numbers, I'm gonna say I wanna drop the, the row with index label one, and I'm saying axis equals zero to tell pandas that I'm actually gonna be dropping rows. So let's go ahead and run this. And what you can see is I've dropped the row where the index label equaled one. And so we just get the three rows that are left up here. Um, now, if I wanted to do the same thing from above and I don't want to specify which axis I wanna do, I can tell drop, hey, I'm gonna be dropping an index and the index label that I'm gonna be dropping is three. Run this and now I've told pandas that I'm dropping an index and it removed index label three for me. I keep on saying index label because your index labels may not be numbers, they could be values or strings as well. Now, if we wanted to drop multiple rows, the same thing as beforehand with pandas drop, we're just gonna pass a list of rows and these rows, it needs to be the index labels. So here I wanna drop rows one and rows two, axis equals zero, run that. And as you can see, I've dropped rows with index label one or and two. Now, last thing that I'll say is sometimes you might accidentally try to drop a column or a row that doesn't actually exist in your data set. And normally this would raise an error. However, if you don't want it to raise an error, like in this case, then you can put errors equal ignore. And so in this case, I'm telling uh, pandas to drop a column because I'm saying access equals one. And I'm saying drop the column, sample non-existent column. So this isn't in our data set and normally it would run uh, it would run and it would pass an error. However, if we say errors equal ignore, it will uneventfully just return the data set to us with no error um, at all. If I were to actually remove this parameter from here and say drop, you can see here it's saying I cannot find this column in your access. That is pandas drop. Thank you very much.